everybody, welcome back to a brand new video, or welcome to a brand new video. Today we are reacting to Karens of Instagram. Let's get to it. Okay, so I have just searched hashtag Karens on Instagram. So let's just see what the first one is. It seems to be a message, so let's read it. Don't hold the lift, okay? Then I'll waste your time. This happened just now as I was getting home. It was raining and I had no umbrella, so I wanted to get back inside. Back inside the building and managed to be five seconds ahead of me and stepped into the elevator and pressed the closed door button, knowing I was right behind him, pretty much closing the doors in my face. I stood there wet and tired and now mildly angry. That's when I decided that going home can wait. Petty revenge was more important if, if I had to wait for the elevator, so then so does he. I noticed he got off on the 24th floor, so I pressed the elevator. So I called the elevator back and stepped inside. I pressed all the button all the way up. I got off on my floor and waited inevitably to stop on the 24th floor. Then knowing he was on his way down, I called the elevator so it would stop one more time. I don't care I wasted that I wasted some more of my time, but knowing I wasted his return gave me a little satisfaction. Well, that's come off Reddit. Um, okay. I guess that man is a bit of a, like, bad person for a reason. I'm going to switch. I'm going to be like this for the Karens. Hey. Okay. Um, sorry. Oh, yeah. Um, that he is probably most definitely a Karen, but poor guy. You mean the poor person who got stuck, not the poor guy who had to wait for the elevator to go up and down. I would be angry if somebody shut the elevator doors in my face. Well, sorry, I should be saying lift, but I'm saying elevator because that was what was there. But anyway, you get you get the fact that they've just slammed the, like, these are the elevator doors, right? You're there. Hey, who are... And then you can go in again. So that's like, yeah, all right, next. Ooh, oh, this is a part two. Is there a part one? Damn it. All right, we'll just watch part two then. <laughs> Disney Carol. Disney Carol. <laughs> to you, bitch. Oh, I need to read the comments, shall we? Pause that for a second. Uh, can't you get thrown out of Disney for offensive gestures, especially in front of kids? I've never been to Disney. I haven't left Australia, honestly. Um, oh, I thought Disney made Wally a new Wally. <laughs> Oh God! Tip and mobility scooter over. Problem solved. <laughs> Is that a grown woman in Australia? Oh, um, I think they like those little tuk tuk things you can get, where they like mobility things, but they're like got a roof, or they're just sitting in the cot or on the um. Or they're standing in front of their baby and the baby's just got a really big thing or they've got, like, two kids, you know what I'm saying? Um, always the bloated ones. Ha 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 All right. Next. Cycling. 
ice skin and no one, you silly old prick. Remember the WhatsApp video going on there? <coughs> See some way I've got to stay one. You're brave. You know that's a right. You're brave. You know that this is right. My place. What, your place? Sorry? My place. Sorry? Yeah. No. Sorry? I'm brave. What's happening? Stop now. What's happening? Carry on. Here we go. I was watching the video. I saw on on WhatsApp. Sorry? What am I going to do with that? Stop. You're just wrong. Stop. Sorry? What am I going to do with this? It's everybody's business. Public highway, mate. It's everybody's business. Public highway, mate. Cause on the phone. I'll see you, mate. Cause on the phone. <laughs> I don't think I see you. When I go around the corner, I'm just going to pull in a little bit, okay? When I go around the corner, I'm just going to pull in a little bit, okay? Just so you know to go past me. You can go ahead if you want. Yo, six, 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 Has no one found out where he lives? South African man, Karen, what the hell? M8 people just got a death wish. Batman is not real people. You ain't got it like that. Just mind your life. Bro got his humble pie finally. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, next. Karen added again. Oh, Karen added this? again. Excuse me. Do you know that this? Excuse me. Do you know that this? Is private? Is private? Do you excuse me? This is private property. This is private This is private property. This is private. Private. It's a public park. Karen added again. It's a public park. Karen added again. Excuse me. Do you know that this? Well, no, it didn't sound old, but. Some of them are. Oh, another one. I'll be also doing Reddit as well, Reddit stories as well. So if you want to see them, am I the asshole? Reddit, we'll see. Anyway, refuse to switch seats. I'll treat you to my melon. My, I should know this. I'm in music. Whatever. Mel melodious voice. All right, see, I mean, I play music. I don't play trombone or whatever for nothing. But yet, yeah, I don't know what that word. Well, I mean, I couldn't understand what it is, but I can't say it. Anyway, sorry. So I was going home by bus. I should have taken train, by the way. Oh, it's that bad. They should have taken train. The train, sorry, not train. Oh, my God. One evening... And had had the misfortune of finding a seat between two people. This, the way this bus was, one row had two seats. Aisle and aisle and the other row had three seats. I sat in the row between the two people. They record and they recognised each other and started chatting, catching up. They went to uni together and hadn't seen each other at all. This was going to be at least 45 minutes drive given several stops and traffic. It was uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable for me as they were talking across me. I, and I just needed some quiet. I know, this is public transport and all. So I asked them if they'd like to switch seats, and they both refused. I put my earphones on and tried to shut them 
out, but I couldn't, given that one party had stale breath. I was listening to song and decided to sing out loud, loud enough that they couldn't hear each other. They stopped talking and I kept quiet. They started talking and I started singing again. Any time they'd talk, I'd sing. It went on for a few minutes. Then they stopped walk talking together and had a, and I had a smooth ride home. I don't care if I if I someone what well, I don't care if I someone would record me. I was just too irritated lol. Well Welcome to public trans you go to public transport in Australia. I catch bus from in Canberra to to Belco Mall. Um and it's so quiet. It's like it's so quiet. So yeah. Um I think we'll do two more. Alright, a couple more. These are really interesting, these. Guy gets out of his car to attack me physically, quickly changes his mind. I'm driving home today on a side street. I'm toodling along the along along going the speed limit when a guy suddenly pulls in front of me from a parking space at the curb. Slow enough and recklessly enough, I almost hit him. He had no turn, no signal on. He seems lost. I slow way down. He proceeds in front of me very, very slowly, blocking the flow of traffic, weaving back and forth. Then he starts to t turn right, so I slow even more. Then he very abruptly veers in front of me, wildly to the left, cutting me off completely. So I slam on my brakes and honk my horn once to horn him, to warn him. The idiot stops his car literally sideways in the middle of the street, blocking me, blocking the traffic in both directions. He rolls down his window and starts flipping me off, commences to scream at me, and I sit there in my car wondering if he's lost his bloody mind. Then his car, d then he opens his car door, still screaming at me, f still flipping me off, getting out of his car, starts to threaten me, beating me up. I'm a small woman. I calmly pick up my phone, do not roll down the window. My car doors are obviously locked. And I simply, very obviously start recording him. He continues to march up to my car, yelling at me. The minute he sees me recording on my cell phone, he abruptly stops screaming. And all at once he becomes as meek as a mouse. Then very politely, somewhat... Somewhat bizarrely... Bizarrely? Attempts to explain himself. My window is still up. I am still recording him. I do not stop recording or put the phone down. Do not react to him and do not say a word. Then he turns his heel, runs to his car and drives off in the opposite direction like a bat out of hell. Funny how the threat of making an arsehole go viral, possibly lose his, lose his job and expose him to the world as the arsehole he is, probably a drunk arsehole, almost immediately altered what could have been a police report, an assault turned into a frightened rapid turning turning tail and running a, and running away terrified. Not sure if it is he, if this is revenge, but pretty petty all the way around. Well yes indeed. Is there any comments? No. That is funny though. That's like not funny but Hold on, sorry, I can't understand. Not English, sorry. And what's wrong with you, ma'am? What's your problem? What's wrong with you, ma'am? What's your problem? Get off your fucking phone. What's your problem? Get off your fucking phone. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Get off your fucking phone. Don't touch me. Get off your phone. Get off your phone. Don't touch me. You're in a parking lot. You're walking across the way for you to park and you get in front of me. You walk back. 
That's really stupid. Get off your phone and pay attention to the people. I wasn't on the phone. Yeah. Why does that in that your one, hand? I just turned it on. It's called recording, you dumbass. What's wrong with you, ma'am? What's your problem? And what's wrong with you, ma'am? What's your problem? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Don't that is illegal here in Australia. One of the mobile detection cameras get you, like, fine like that, like that. Even if it's like you've got like a little, if you even got something on your lap and you're touching it, you can also get fined. But it isn't like, if it looks like a phone, like, this, probably not. But like, let's say I had, um... Let's say this on my lap, right? Instant fine. Because it looks almost identical to a phone. So, yes. So, he was doing something strange, dangerous, and in my stake, illegal, by driving while on the phone. And she's the Karen? Yeah. Jesus Christ, Jude, just drive away with your phone down. All these. Okay? It is. Yeah. No, it isn't. Why is it? Because you touch children, you rape children. I don't oh. touch children. Yes, because oh. you're all evil. It is. Yeah. No, it isn't. Why isn't it? Because you touch children, you rape children. I don't oh. touch children. Yes, because you're all. Look at all the how all the staff oh. react. She's just yeah. like mm, with a little thing like <laughs> like okay, I need to read the comments. It's just sweat sweat under the tatas for me. Oh <laughs> the sweat maids make us so look so tough. I would have reported this as a police and ever arrested. Boop leakage, lol, boop sweat, <laughs> let her cook, the protection coming from Mark. <sighs> oh yeah, totally read the Bible. <gasps> False allegations is a crime in every state in the US, press charges for her for uttering false allegations. I don't listen to anyone yelling when all I see is humidities. <laughs> Stop going on about her boop sweat. Oh, I need to look. Can I say that? Yeah, it's safe. <laughs> That's funny. Boobs. No, you can't be lesbian. It's just the boob slips for me. All right, next is just sound up my grandpa. Can I talk. Am years old. I am 83 years uh, old. I was, I was, uh, uh, I was, I was uh, in the McDonald's drive through this morning. The young lady behind me. The young lady behind me leaned on her started horn and, and, and started mouthing some ugly things because I was taking too long to place my order. Oh. Oh, for God's sake, not boob sweat, Karen. Um, one thing I can say, don't start swearing and giving people the finger. And even if you're like, they're not driving properly, don't do that. Because you're just being a fuckwit doing that. So don't do that. Like, um, turns out back in my day, there was stories were actually her secret training sessions. I am 83 years old. I am 83 years oh, old. Sorry, skip so I have to just uh, I was I was uh, in the McDonald's drive through this morning. The young lady, the lady behind, behind me leaned the young on her lady horn, behind me horn, leaned on her horn and mouthing some and, ugly and started things, mouthing some ugly things because I was taking right, too long to place my order. So when I got to the first I window I paid for her order along with, with my own. The cashier must have told her what I had done because as we moved up, she leaned out her window and, and, and waved to me uh, as she began mouthing, thank you, thank you, probably feeling embarrassed that I had repaid her rudeness 
with kindness. When I got to the second window, I showed the server both receipts and I took her food too. Now she has to go back to the end of the queue and start and start all over again. Don't blow your horn at old people. We've been around for a long oh time. Oh my God, that carrot got payback. Uh, I, I was, thought, now she's like, thank you, thank you. I was like, okay, that's it. No. Oh God. Mm. So take your camera, take your selfie stick. So take your camera, take your selfie stick. Take your dogs and get the fuck out of here. What is your name? My name is Rita Masterson. 481 Drive. Right Rita there. Masterson. So take your camera, take your selfie stick. My name stick, is your Rita dogs and get Masterson. All right. Uh, comments. Listen to her speak with that headset. It's like nails on a chalkboard. Hey, Rita. Why do you and the other Karen friends always yell so angry all the time? You must be a blast to live with. Take your watermelon and go home then. How is she standing upright? Oh, because of her boobs. Oh. What caused this? We only see this. You may not think she brought the big guns out. Oh, I get why I take your watermelon home. Sounds like a Karen. It's expired. Farmer called looking for the lost <laughs> Looking for the lost cow. Tired of all these women. That accent is atrocious. Vomit face. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, guys. I think I'll leave it there for Karen's today. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Um. And but always. <laughs> and but always. Have fun. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.